folks, welcome back. G here, working on the 1964 Impala wagon. And let's see, what's the big challenge we're going after today? Well, I'm going to start on the differential, uh, the center section, and install a posi on it. And that's not an original posi differential, so there's a little bit of modification I'm going to have to do on that. So uh, I'm going to swing around here and uh, show you what I'm getting after. I'm going to get this done finally. I've been kind of procrastinating on this, so let's take a look at it. It's a little bit sunny out there, so we're getting some uh, light glare in the camera, but uh, yeah, we'll deal with it. Okay, so this is the uh, center section, the original center section. The only thing that's been changed on this is the carrier bearings and the pinion bearings and, uh, you know, races, etc. Um, I worked on this quite a bit, uh, struggled along trying to get the um, contact pattern within specs, no matter what I did. Install shims, remove shims, back and forth. Went through all the procedure for it and uh, could not get it to work. So what I decided to do is get a new ring and pinion. And I ordered those and at the time I said, well, what the hell, might as well put a posi in it. So, they got a Yukon Gear Posi Traction to uh, install on it. And uh, one of the things that uh, has to happen when putting this uh, Posi in is, I'll show you. <clears throat> so on a Posi, the whole carrier is much wider. As you can see in this carrier, it's open and there's a lot of, um, you know, open area in here. I'll zoom in on that a little bit. Okay, so, like I said, Posi, this is all full and on the original open carrier you've got a lot of this area here that's not so what happens is you get some interference in here and I'll do some details as I get going along you get some interference to the edge inside the uh, differential case so uh, I'm going to go ahead disassemble pull the carrier out, set it aside for, um, uh, you know, historical sake, <laughs> and then um, make my modifications inside. It's going to take some grinding and stuff. And, uh, yeah, so uh, the first effort today is disassemble, get this all ground out of there, and uh, test it, reassemble, etc. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, kind of going to be the goal for today. So uh, let's give it a shot, see if I can do it right this time. Let's get these axles off, right?
stay there. Don't fall out of there. times. Okay, these bearings are new. Brand spanking new. I only had them on there to do this new installation, so. Why is that a different color? I'm going to figure that out. It's funky. I'm going to clean it off of there. Okay, so we've got to pull these bearings off. So we'll put this over here now. take the pinion out. So I'm going to get it set up in my tool and I'll show you what I'm doing there. Made this little tool here. So I can work on this differential case, turn it upside down when I need it to. Also made this. This long, this long tool is so that when I really start clamping down on that pinion bolt, I've got plenty of leverage. supposed to use an impact on these but the pinion bearing and all this other stuff I'm probably not going to use any of it so we'll just do this save myself in case I drop it it's probably still gonna probably still gonna fall on the floor but
Damn. I think I'm gonna leave this gear or this bearing in there. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that bearing out so I don't get any grindies in it. If I can get it up. I gotta pull this bearing first. Okay, now to get that posi to go in this originally open rear end, in other words, it was not a posi rear end originally, um, there needs to be some modification. And the modification is to remove some of this material right here so the posi doesn't bang up against it. And from Doing this once before, uh, I remember doing this, but I didn't remember how far to go down. And you have to go down an inch and a half, and it'll be plenty of clearance. And it's got to be all the way up against where the bearing cap is, and down inch and a half. So it's going to look like, if you can see that picture, it's not a really good picture, but here is the piece that's going to be removed. inch and a half remove. All right, so I'm gonna do some grinding. Okay, we'll start off with this big one. See how far we get with that. And then we'll decide. Yeah, I guess we're not gonna be able to see it. So we'll shut the camera off and come back a little bit.
bad boy is right at an inch and a half. There's a better shot of it. Right at an inch and a half. Wow. And that's the high part, so let's see how it does. I could clean this up just a little more, but uh, man, it's looking pretty good. I just touched this corner right here. Let's ignore that. Well, my camera remote's not working, so you'll get some video that you probably didn't need to get. All right, so let's see if we can get this bearing on this carrier without breaking anything. We're knocking it over. Okay, for my next trick, I'm going to see if I can fit this in here where I created the clearance. So, let's go this way. Okay, well, this has definitely got to come out just a little bit more. 
it's so close you can't you can't even get a piece, piece of paper in between it and I haven't even torqued it down yet so more is coming out okay I clearanced it once test fitted and realized that I didn't have any clearance so I pulled it apart and then uh, ground it down a little bit more test fitted it and I still didn't like it so I did it one more time and if you can see it here there's the clearance hard to see but it's there all right let's get the ring gear on okay okay I'm gonna take this off Put it on the cart, roll it outside. It's about 25, 30 degrees outside. Let this cool down. And then I'll put the ring gear in the oven and warm it up to about 100. And that should be it. Well, I forgot to put the camera on before I started doing this part. So, we need red lock tank. One day to the next, I I guess I should go look up the torch bags, huh? I guess I'll go get the book out, start looking up some torque specs for everything, and uh, let this cool off so I can work it, and take it from there. Okay, let's see if I can hold this and torque it at the same time. Think I can do it? Let's see where we're at. This is where it fits. 
this aside, put the case back in here. Okay, now I'm going to clean all this shit up and then uh, start working on this pin in here. So it's a new morning and we're ready to go. This is where we're at. We have the Posi carrier with its new bearings and a new ring gear all set up. We have a new pinion gear. We have new bearings for that. And what I'm gonna do is I purchased some setup bearings instead of trying to use old pinion bearings to do the setup so that should make things a little bit smoother uh, let's see we've got one shim on the pinion I got to start somewhere so I've got a 0 .022 and plenty of shims to uh, mix and match uh, I'm going to do the setup I won't put the crush sleeve in because those are one time only and then we also won't put the seal in we'll do that at the end let's see what else that's about it we'll uh, get started here and see if we can make some things happen wish me luck okay so that's the first try of the wear pattern you can see it's way off it's way up in there and it's not all the way down into the gear so uh, the instructions say for D which is similar it'll be necessary to install a thicker pinion shim as described a one a point zero zero three thicker shim is recommended so I started out with a 17 and now I'm going to go ahead and go up to a 20 and uh, try it again 22 did not work, so let's hope 20 works. Alright, we've got this. Alright, we've got this play moved. Now what I'm going to do is <clears throat> take the tool off, set up my rotation torque inch pound wrench, and check my, well I guess it would be called preload. And I'm going to need a reducer for my half inch here. So I grab that. Let's look at it. Okay, it's a little tight. I'm not tightening too much. Let's see. Okay, it's supposed to be between 15 and 25 on the black scale and this is uh, kind of a it's not as detailed let's see I can't think of the word but uh, the, well, the, well I'll set the max at 25 and see where I'm at well I'll just leave it go so this needs to be 15 to 25 let's see what we got Actually, it's not. 
10, 5, 10, 15. So it's 5, 10, 15, just about 17. So if you can see that, let's see if I can get this in here, let it focus a little bit. So it's about 15. So it's actually 16 and a half to 17. See if I can get it even closer, see if you can read it. There you go. So 15 to 25 and it's about 17. So that's good. That's good to start doing our checks. Now it's going to be a whole different thing with this crush lead in there and the new bearings. It's going to take some serious you know, torque to get this thing crushed. So, but right now, this is a piece of cake. So now we can do our checks. All right, let's set this in. Sounds funky. Wow. <clears throat> okay, this isn't the best shot of this that I could give you. But, um, right now, I'm getting a, what looks like, a latch of 11. So, it's pretty freaking close. So I can tighten that up a little bit. Yeah, see, that's the problem. This is flexing. 70, 76. Yeah, it's got fucking flex in. Alright, I gotta come up with a better plan here. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Okay, I got it set up in a better spot here. So, it's at a 90 to the gear, well, the gear tooth. 90 to the tooth. I got it set at zero, and uh, I'm gonna tighten it here a little bit so you can see it. And let's see all. Can't see that, but the first mark is 10, and then 20. So zero, five, 10, 15, 20. Okay, so let's let's just okay, this time is at ten and sixteen. Ten and sixteen, so it's six. Okay, so we're showing a six. Ten to sixteen. Ten to sixteen. And point zero zero five to point zero zero eight is ideal. And it's 0 .006. I gotta love it. So I'm going to check the tightness for everything and check it again. And if I like it, 
then I'll do my wear pattern. So let's see how that goes. I decided to put some bluing on the case of the pause attraction just to see if there's any interference. And I finished setting the uh, pinion with 0 0.020 shims. And this is the pattern I got. And uh, let's see, here's a better shot of that. Back and forth a number of different times. And frankly, that's as, about as good as I've seen. It's not perfect, but uh, we'll give it a shot here. I'm gonna wipe some of this off here. Got some oil on it. Should still show if there's any interference. Let's get it spun around here. Okay, I'm going to put some uh, resistance on it and come back and take another shot. Okay, let's get this thing together. Hey.
let's get some stuff done here. I've been screwing around with this thing for a week. Let's get going. Here we go. Okay, this thing, I have to tighten this up with these long tools because it's extremely difficult and tighten it up and then check the uh, rotation torque on this to be 15 to 25 inch pounds. So uh, it's a bit, but here we go. You have to do this a few times. Okay, let's see. Yeah, let's spin it over first. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's very much. Maybe 10. If that. Huh. 5, 10. Man, it's just right at 15. Man. Okay, it's hard to see, but it's zeroed out. Okay, cross your fingers. Check! I got it too high. Right at 30. This could be stuck at 30, I think. Really don't want to leave it there. I don't want to have to take this thing apart again. Okay, it's at zero. You see that? It's like right around 18. Yes! I'm done. Done with that part. Oh. 
We're going to get some of this shit out of the way. We're going to get some of this shit out of the way here and get set up for the carrier. Okay, sitting at 89, 95, maybe 86, so it's between 5 and 8, exactly where we need it. Done. Well, that's as good as it's going to get. finally done. That was a lot of work, but uh, yeah, I'm glad it's done and uh, it's looking good. So uh, tomorrow we'll uh, install it, put the axles in, and uh, start putting the brakes together. Major accomplishment. Next, let's go get them.